Hello guys, today I will be doing a review of a mechanical pencil I just recently bought off Amazon, the Palette S20. So I want to preface this review with apology. I'm sorry I haven't been making reviews for the past three months because I've been pretty busy with schoolwork and stuff. So yeah, so I saw the Pilot S20 shipped from Japan a couple of weeks ago on Amazon, and it was available for only $14.69. Now usually the Palette S20 usually costs around $20 on Amazon and like $33 on Japan's, so it was a steal, so I bought it. So yeah, it arrived a couple of days ago, it arrived a couple of days ago and I've tried it ever since, so yeah, here's my review. So it came in this really cool packaging with this paper sleeve with a plastic case. It even came with a user guide, which is pretty cool. I didn't expect this for a $15 pencil. I would have expected it for like a $150 pencil, but not like this kind of pencil, so good job palette. So let's go over the exterior of the pencil. As you may have noticed, this pencil is made out of wood primarily. So at the top of the pencil, or the tip of the pencil, there is a, let me focus, there's a 4mm lens sleeve for drafting purposes. And then there is the tip. So the tip, as you may notice, is made out of metal. And it's this matte kind of metal. This is different from the other members of the Pallet S series. Like this is the Pallet S3. Which, as you may have noticed, is made out of a more glossy kind of metal. And then there is this wood. It's made out of birch, according to Japan's. I chose this pretty red color instead of the dark brown color, because in my opinion this color looks more professional. And in the center, there is this ring S20, and on the back it says Japan, made in Japan. And then here is this clip. The clip is also made in this matte color, and the embossed in the clip is the words palette. So, this clip is removable, although I don't want to remove it because I don't want to scratch the body, but it is removable. I'll show you on this pencil. See, you can remove the clip if you if you think it gets in the way. And finally, at the end of this pencil, there is the tip. The, the, no, there is the button which you press to advance the lid. This also functions as the lead harness indicator. And then on the back, there is the words... Point five. So this is useful if you store your pencils in like a pencil cup and you can you can know which pencil you're taking out before you even take it out. Under this, there is a very very small drafting eraser. This eraser is almost worthless, so this is one of the negatives of this pencil. Other drafting pencils, like Pentel drafting pencils, have much bigger drafting erasers. So this eraser is smaller in diameter and it's very short, unlike the Pentel erasers, which is longer, so that's one of the negatives of this pencil. And let's show you. So inside the tip, as you can see, the entire lead reservoir is made out of metal, which is very rare. A lot of pencils these days have lead reservoirs made out of plastic, like the Graph Gears and the, even the Rotsling 600, I've noticed. So that's a pretty good part of this pencil. So. One of a negative I've noticed after using this for a couple of days is, I don't know if you can see or not, but but the metal, the mat, does scratch pretty easily. I don't know, if, I, I don't think you can see it, but it scratches pretty easily. It's not like very noticeable, but if you look it in like the light, it is kind of noticeable. You can see the scratches. It's, I guess it's just part of the finish, it's, yeah. So now let's do a writing sample. Let me get out a piece of paper. Focus.
as you can see, it writes pretty well. So after using it for a couple of days, I really like the ergonomics of this pencil. It's it's become one of my favorite pencils due to its grip. You may have, as you can see, the grip contours a little bit inside. See, it's it's taller on both sides, so it's really comfortable. Although it's not the grippiest grips, like some metal grips which are grip here, but this pencil it feels it feels like it's made for my hand. So yeah, it's really comfortable. Another plus of this pencil is it's actually pretty weighty. This by it's probably because the inside's made out of metal. It's seventeen point five grams, which makes it a pretty weighty pencil. And the balance point is just shy of the center, so this makes it a really comfortable pencil. So overall, I highly recommend the Palo S20 as a pencil, both for drafting or just general use and writing. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.